Hello again and welcome back to the Fat Fish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and this video I want to talk about harmonics. I've mentioned them a few times in recent videos and uh, on online things and they're a useful thing to know about so I thought it's probably worth taking the time to to make a video and kind of explain what they are, how to play them, different ways to play them, give you some interesting sounds that are a useful thing to have in your in your repertoire. So basically explain what a harmonic is. It's best way to think about it it's a slightly higher it's a higher note than you would expect to play under the circumstances right so if I play just an open string say an open fourth string I'm in standard tuning so you get a D yeah now if I fret that string somewhere I get a higher note let's go at the 12th fret I get the same note but an octave higher it's still a D but it's an octave higher now a harmonic is a different way of playing that note. Now what I'm going to do is rather than press down with the string behind the fret is I'm going to put my finger on top of the string. I'm not I'm going to touch it but I'm not going to push it down and the difference in positioning is I'm actually kind of right on top of the fret wire rather than slightly behind the way that I would be if I was normally yeah, uh, normally fretting a note. I'm just going to lightly touch the string and as I touch it I'm going to take my finger off. So that's also a D, an octave above the open string, but it's, you, you can hear a difference in sound, slightly more sort of um, like bell-like quality, it's a bit more chimey, a bit more ringy. This is the fretted note, and this is the harmonic. Same note, but a different sort of voice to it. That note, yeah, that, as I said, that note I played there, but just by touching the string, Try it for yourself. It might take you a few goes before you can get the technique quite right and get your, your, your finger positioning spot on so you get a nice clear sounding, sounding note. But that harmonic's got a different sort of voice. So to get into this, I'll need to do a little bit of sciencing. Don't worry, I, I'm not a scientist and I know quite a few of you watching this are won't be scientists either, but let's talk a little bit about physics. When I play a guitar, oops, when I play a guitar string, it's fixed at two points. With the case of the open string, it's fixed at the nut and it's fixed at the saddle here, where, where, the, where the string joins the bridge. And when I when I pluck the string, it basically vibrates between those two points. And if you if you looked at it, it would kind of be in a shape that looks a little bit like this, yeah. And that one of those fixed points can move. The, the, I'm playing it here with the with the open string, so the, the end node, if you like, is the uh, is the note. But that end node could be my finger. Yeah, playing the uh, playing the fretted note. In which case, the 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 wave, if you like, looks like this. This is what the the fretted note looks like. What happens when I'm playing a harmonic is I'm taking my finger off the string. I'm kind of forcing it to look like this. So you've got the, the entire length of the string and exactly halfway down, I've got this node point that I introduced by putting my finger on the string. So I've got the, if you like, the, the length of the wave is half the length of the open string. It's the same length of wave as I had when I fretted the, the string at the 12th fret. So half the, the length, twice the, twice the frequency, and you get the higher note, yeah. But you've actually kind of got two of them, you've got, because you, you've introduced that, that what we'll call that node, and that's a harmonic. So the, we've got the fundamental note, which is the open string, and if you, so it's called the first harmonic, and then you've got the second harmonic, which is the, the, the note that's an octave above. Now, interestingly, when I play the, just like the open string or the fretted string, just so you're hearing what we call the fundamental, you are actually hearing a load of harmonics as well, but they're not as loud. This is what gives a, a, an instrument its voice. It's about the way that the harmonics, what something's called overtones, that are present in the, in the sound as well. The string's vibrating actually in quite a complex way. You know, I've oversimplified it by saying you know, it vibrates between these two points. It does, but because of physics I'm not going to go into, you get all these harmonics and overtones as well. 
and that's what gives an instrument its unique sound. It's the, it's the way that those harmonics, like the level, sound level of those harmonics, the volume of them relative to each other into the, the, the fundamental note. So what you've got there is a is something that sounds like a fundamental note, but there's a load of harmonics there. And what we can do is fret or touch the string in a particular way that makes the harmonic come out. Now, I can't get a harmonic just wherever I like. They're like predetermined intervals. The interval along the, the string where harmonics uh, it can be found are basically at equal divisions. So the harmonic that I showed you initially there, that uh, 12th fret harmonic, it's halfway along the string. Now I could go a third of the way along the string, which just conveniently happens to be at about the seventh fret. So that's an open D string. And that note there is actually an A. It's, a, it's an octave higher than you might expect to find there. So that's the A just as a regular fretted note. And that's the NA an octave higher. Basically what I've done there is I've taken the string and I've divided it into three. So the, the, the wave fundamentally looks like, so no pun intended, fundamentally the wave looks like this. And I could go to other equal divisions. I could go to a quarter. That gives me a note that's two octaves higher. And as you go along the string, it divisions, you know, quarter, fifth, sixth, and so on along the way, you get different, uh, you get different harmonics. And as I said, it might take you a while before you get the technique spot on. If you're finding it difficult, you might find it a little bit easier if you play it with a little bit of gain. So if you play on the dirty channel in the amp, it just makes things a little bit more, bit more sensitive. It pulls those harmonics out. Uh, it's to do with the way the the signal kind of gets it, it gain added to it and compression and all that sort of thing. It just makes the harmonics a little bit more. Uh, uh, a little bit more uh, easy to pick out. Now what we're playing there are what we call natural harmonics. A natural harmonic is where you play an open string touched in some way that it introduces the harmonic sound. So that's the first way to play a harmonic. Way number one, just playing a natural harmonic by touching an open string. And the second way to play harmonics is what we call an artificial harmonic. And that's well playing a harmonic on a fretted note. These are really useful to include in your, in your solos just to kind of get a note that really jumps out. I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean and then I'll talk about how it's done. So if I just play a, a lead line. Yeah, so you hear those couple, couple of times I played a harmonic in a really, really high note that just kind of jumps out and really grabs your attention. Now the same, I'm using the same principle here as it was with a, a natural harmonic that I'm causing the, the string to, like, to be split into a number of equal divisions, but I'm doing it with my picking hand. There's a few different ways you can do it. I'd advise you to experiment, find what one works best for you. One popular technique is just to kind of use the fleshy bit at the side of your thumb to hit the string at the point where you want to, to cause the, the harmonic node point. So you need to be aware of your, your placement. This is something that comes naturally when you've been doing it for, for a long time. But to begin with, you'll need to experiment. So if, you, you know, if I'm fretting the, the, the fourth string at the seventh fret, then the, like an equal division is about here or here or here. You'd need to you kind of experiment and find it. But what you do is you play the, the note and allow your thumb to strike the string as well. Yeah, you can hear that. So what I'm doing there is I'm picks, hitting the string and then immediately afterwards, my, the fleshy part on the side of my thumb is hitting the string and causing that harmonic to happen. So it's, a, it's about here. So it's a division of the string, equal division along there that gives me a harmonic. So it'll look something like this. Different ways of doing it. Some people will find it, it's easier to you know, you're normally holding your pick between your, your thumb and your index finger. They find it easier to flip, hold the pick between the middle finger instead of the index finger and thumb, leaving the index finger free. And then you can kind of reach over and touch the string where you want the harmonic to sound. 
personally, I find that a little bit awkward because you're, you know, you're, you're switching around the, the the way that you're holding the pick. The way that works for me, it's a it's it's a little bit harder because everything's out of sight. Is I actually use my ring finger, so I find it's quite a natural thing to pick slight. The pick is slightly away from where the, the node point is going to be, and I touch using my ring finger to give me the harmonic. <laughs> So I've shown you two ways of playing harmonics there. First way was the natural harmonic, touching the, the string above a, a fret on an open string to give you the, the natural harmonic sound, or on fretted notes using your picking hand to give you the artificial harmonic. Now way number three of playing harmonics is a different, again, and it's like a tapped harmonic. The idea is similar to playing a natural harmonic. I mean, it works with open notes or, or fretted notes, but you, it's about placing your finger above the fret and what you're doing is you, you, you're doing everything with your with your picking hand. So let's say I want to play a 12th fret harmonic on the uh, on the open D string. Now I'm going to go on a clean channel for this because it'll just sound a little bit better. Uh, let's say I wanted to play a 12th fret harmonic on the uh, on the D string. I could play a natural harmonic like that. But another way of playing it, and this gives me a different sound, is to tap. The string now this isn't like doing two hand tapping where it's like tapping a fretted note where you're going in like where you would normally put your fretting finger it's about being right on top of the fret wire tapping the string against the fret wire and taking your finger off yeah can you hear that harmonic so that's the open string that's not that's a natural harmonic at the 12th fret it's still got that kind of like that bell-like quality. But if I just tap the string and take my finger off really quickly, you're also hearing a harmonic sound there. Again, this is a technique. It'll take you, probably take you a little bit of practice to, to get it just right, because you need to be quite precise with your timing. That You hit the, hit the string and get your finger out of the way enough to allow the string to vibrate with that harmonic. Now, this works with like natural harmonics on just open strings it also works playing on fretted notes as well as long as you move your finger your that you're hitting the harmonic with to the appropriate fret so i was playing a 12th fret harmonic there one octave above if i went to the fifth fret there so i'm playing a g i need to move my fret my picking finger my tapping finger up five frets so i've got the fretted note at the fifth fret and I've got the harmonic at the 17th because that's 12 frets higher it's, it's halfway on the string and I've got the harmonic there interestingly I could play a 12th fret harmonic on that on that fretted note because that's one two three four five six seven frets higher that gives me a perfect fifth and an octave above uh, the the normal fretted note it's a it's another it's another harmonic it's another equal division of the string now one way I, I like to use tapped harmonics and I think use it quite a bit on acoustic is sort of like tapping out the the shape of a chord at a, a different interval above I'll show you what I mean so if I play let's play a, an a sus2 I like it I like a sus2 chord so I play that so basically it's an open first and second string uh, third and fourth strings are fretted at the second at the second fret and then an open fifth and sixth string what i could do is tap the the strings from, from high to, to low 12 12 14 14 12 12 and then i finished off there by playing the top e string two octaves higher by tapping at the fifth fret. So what I did there was I played, played basically the same chord but an octave higher. I could go to a different interval, so that if I could go say like out, play the notes seven frets higher, and that would give me notes that are a perfect fifth and an octave above the open, the the normal fretted notes or open strings. Uh, so rather than playing an A sus two, I'd be playing an E sus two. So I played something like this. Yeah, so 
it's an, it's a really useful way to to play chords and just make your make your your guitar playing more interesting. As I said I, I use this quite a, that technique quite a bit on acoustic. I just like the way it sounds, and it's something you will see a lot of, particularly like the the more percussive uh, acoustic guitar players. You know, people like Mike Dawes, uh, John Gorm, people like that who find very creative ways of getting sounds out of the acoustic guitar. Do a lot of, like two hands on the neck and tapped harmonics are a key part of their, their sort of um, skill vocabulary. So experiment with it and see what you can do and how you can incorporate it into your own playing. As with the other ways of playing harmonics, it might take you a little bit of time and practice just to to get uh, get fluid and, and confident with the, the technique. Um, you just get you're tapping the string quite the right way and just being able to instinctively go to where a harmonic is. But as with all things with the guitar, it just takes a bit of, a bit of time and a bit of practice and uh, you'll get the benefits from it. Okay, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please click like down there. If you really enjoyed it and you want to see other videos that are posted on the channel, then please click the subscribe button down there and click the bell icon as well so you get notified anytime I uh, upload new content onto the channel. You're welcome to leave a comment, but I don't always see comments that are left on videos. If there's something you specifically want to ask me, whether it's about guitar playing, music theory, guitar equipment, anything at all, you're better off going here, filling that form in, send your question direct to me. That way I'm guaranteed to see it and get around to answering your question in a future video. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.